Welcome to the second video newsletter from Freecraft Downloads. As you might have already noticed, uh, we did get the new microphone, but it didn't work. So the sound quality still isn't what we want, but we will continue to work on that. In this issue, there are two free sets of papers. Plus, we're going to have a look at the user gallery in the forum. And finally, there's a report from the weekend's craft fair at Thorsby Park. We put it at the end, so if you're only interested in the free downloads, you don't have to sit through it. But I hope you do, because there's some nice stuff in there. Okay, without further ado, let's look at this week's first set of free papers. They're all pyramid papers with an Easter theme. So obviously we put them in the decoupage section. Now don't ask, we will sort that out at some stage. Let's scroll down, and you'll see the new Easter section there. These pyramid papers come in both oval and rectangular shapes and they're the normal papers and the inverted ones. There are even papers with a twist. Let's take a look at what's available or some of what's available in this set. Right, we promised you a look at the Members Gallery. Interesting section, you can get to it by going to the Community and then Gallery. Or you can obviously get to it through the Forum. I'd like to remind all Forum members that they do automatically have a Gallery in which they can place their own pictures. And that would be in the Members Gallery section. Or you can get to it by just clicking on My Gallery. You can also see, which everyone should be interested in, cards made with our papers, other card pictures, other craft pictures. Lots of examples in those for things you may want to make or try making or base one of your projects on. General pictures may not interest you unless you're a forum member. But the one which you might be most pleased with is this section decoupage and backing sheets. Now these are decoupage and backing sheets made by forum members. I believe Swan has made a great <laughs> a large percentage of these. So you can see in the decoupage section there are 356 sheets. Again you can download these and use them yourselves. 249 backing sheets, tiles, inserts and sets. So let's for instance take sets. I'll just pop in there. There's 101 sets in here, and these are mini sets for making card. We'll just click on here, on this first one. And you'll see a nice little rabbit design there, good for Easter. Bit of decoupage and a bit of a backing sheet. We'll flick back. Take a look at another one. Let's try this one here. I haven't actually looked at these first, so I'm seeing them for the first time as you are. And there we are. Another nice little image suitable for Easter maybe. Decoupage and a sheet. If you want to use this, just right click on the image. In my browser it says save image as, yours may say that, or it might say save target as. 
and that will save it down onto your computer. You can then print it off in your favourite graphics package and use it at your leisure. So that's the gallery area. Please do take a look if you haven't already. There's lots in there for you to download for free and lots of great ideas for you to try. Let's get straight on with the second set of papers this week. It's a complete set of papers, so we've put it in the recommended sets. And it's for teenagers. This time, concentrating on computer gaming. So we'll see teen papers there. And computer game. As I said, it's a complete set of papers. So it does include the normal backing sheets and inserts and tags, but also pyramid, decoupage and frames. It's just one sheet of decoupage. If we take a look at that, it will give you some idea of what the set's about. There we go, I think that's a wee. Okay, let's take a look through what's in this set. Now, if you like this set and you don't want to download the papers one by one, just as a treat, we've given it as a download, a zip download with all the papers in. Just pop over to the forum. And we'll go into a general discussion. New Team Papers Computer Games and this second link here you'll see is a zip file just click on that and you should get a box come up and you can save the whole zip file down in one go and that will have all the papers in for you Well, welcome to our report on last weekend's craft fair at Thorsley Park in Nottinghamshire. I know I promised this would be a video report, unfortunately the video camera had other ideas. I hope some of our members from other countries will be interested to see what a craft fair looks like in the UK. And if you are thinking of doing a craft fair yourself, have a look at how some of the tables are laid out. It can be quite interesting. I would like just to point out that I did take these pictures at the end of the day so we could actually see the stands. It certainly wasn't this quiet all weekend.
Well, that just about wraps it up for this week. Before we go, let's just nip across to Craft Calendar and have a look because there's quite a lot going on this weekend. You'll see the Hobby Crafts and Sewing for Pleasure exhibitions. Those are on at the NEC in Birmingham, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The Craft and Gift Fair here is in Lytham St Anne's and that's running Saturday and Sunday in the Lowther Pavilion. Another gift and craft show here. Just a one day one this. That's in the Town Hall in Eversham, Worcestershire. Wessex Guild of Craftsmen Exhibition and Sale of Work. And that'll be Badger's Farm Community Centre. And that's again just running the, the one day, Saturday the 26th of March. And finally, here we have the Great British Craft Bazaar. And that's just running for the one day at Colchith High School near Warrington. So quite a few around the country there. Thank you for listening and watching this video. Hope to see you very soon. Bye.